first period, Riley O'Connor takes his pass from Ryan Keenan, toes the line and scores. He can make it one to nothing early on for the Warriors. This shot is stopped by Rex Zach, but Chris Atwood's gonna pop up on the rebound and score, making it three to nothing in the early going. More from Atwood here is gonna battle along the backboards. And then this is part of the reason they got him. Look at the great creativity. Fantastic pass to Curtis Knight. He finds O'Connor in front, make it seven to nothing in the first period. Now the Tomahawks would get their first of two back-to-back -back goals from Jake Harding as he puts this one in to cut it to seven to one. And then Anthony Joaquin on a power play. You gotta admit it was a bit of lucky here. Ball comes off the end boards, hits Luke Coot and goes in. 7-2, but when you're 0-18, you'll take the goals any way that you can get them. Into the second period, Zach is done and Rance Venue comes on for Mississauga. But unfortunately for him, one of the first things he has to do is stare down Sheldon Burns. He's going to get the better of this battle as he scores his fifth goal of the season. Into the third and Vigneault coming up big right here on Dan Lintner from close range. Tyler Gilligan, loose ball, corrals it, then shows great speed the other direction. 15 to two. I do not think there will be a comeback in this game. Bryden Curran out jumps Riley O'Connor on this next play and goes in on Coot. But Luke making the most of his start in this game comes up with the fantastic save. Riley O'Connor would then round out the scoring on the night for both teams as he pops yet another goal. 19-3 is the final. Chris Atwood, the player of the game for the Warriors with two goals and seven assists. A little bit of math tells us that's nine points on the game. He's fitting in well. Yeah, it was always hard leaving the, the, the athletics, but you have to, it's my last year, so you got to just go where you can win. So I think the best chance to win is here. So we really wanted to put a good effort into trying to win the goals against um, for, our, for our team and, and our goalies in particular, who the guys who have to put all the equipment on every night, even in practices when our guys go light and they have to put the gear on. So that's kind of a payback for them. And, and, and that's a total team effort from the offensive guys as well in terms of transitioning back well and that. So I thought we did a good job there. Um, third period, they, we got a little bit loose, but Coots had made some big saves. So um, those are the kind of things we focused on tonight. And really, that's all you can do in those situations.